Hi, this video is going to be a proof to the group property that says that if we have a group G with the set G and the binary operation star, where the binary operation is defined by some binary operation table where we have the n elements of the group, and the property says that every element of the group must show up exactly once in each row and each column. So if we set up here that our group G had the elements E, A, all the way up to the nth element, that tells us that each one of these n elements has to show up in each row and each column. And also that no element can appear twice in one row or one column. So if we have an E here, we can't have another E in this row or this column. And another way you might see this theorem written is that it might say that every binary operation table for a group is a Latin square. And a Latin square is just an n by n square like this, where every element is just used once and only once in each column in each row. So let's go ahead and start our proof of this. There's actually going to be two parts to our proof. The first part is that no element can show up twice in any row or column. And I'm actually just going to show the proof to show that it can't happen for any row, since the proof to show it for a column is essentially the same. So we're going to go about this proof by using contradiction. So let's assume that there exists an x in G, such that x does show up twice in one row. So that would be like saying that a star a equals b and a star c equals b. But this binary operation table still gives us a group. So if there was an x in our group where this could happen, that means that x equals a star b and x equals a star c for some a, b, and c in our group G. So for some row a and for some columns b and c, a star b gives us the same answer as a star c. Now if this was the case, we would write that a star b equals a star c. But now we notice since we're working with a group, this a has to have an inverse inside of our group. So what would happen if we applied a inverse to both sides? On this side we would get a inverse star a star b, and over here we would get a inverse star a star c. But since we know that star is associative, since we're working with a group, that tells us that a inverse star a star b equals a inverse star a star c. And then this just tells us that b equals c. But this is a contradiction. So we have shown that no element can show up twice in any row or column. Now for the second part of the proof. We need to show that every element appears at least once in every row and column. And again, I will just show this for each row. So if we say G is a group and we say that it has n elements, then each spot in the operation table has n options. We can't have more than n options since we know it must be closed under the operation, meaning no element in our table can be an element that's outside of our set G. So we have n elements and n spots, but from our above proof, we showed that no element can appear twice in one row or one column. And we know that every spot in our table has to be filled to be a well-defined group. So we know that each of the n elements must be used, and that tells us that every element appears at least once in every row and column. Now with both of these proved, we can say that every element appears exactly once in each row and column.